Hey guys, Dark here. I'm bringing you a new Let's Try from a fairly old game. I think this came out a while ago. It's called Home. It's, uh... I don't know what to expect. I've I've seen... I've seen it before, though. Like, I've seen thumbnails of it, so... I thought, why not give it a try? Your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete Home in a single sitting. Which is what I plan to do. That's why it's a let's try. <laughs> turn up the sound, turn off the lights. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. What the heck? There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Ah, yes. Is a point and click or oh I can move my arrow keys, okay. That house, where was I? There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? I didn't recognize his face. He was still kind of warm. cat. There's a staircase here. Another door. Computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it. A single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? I really shouldn't have been going through this stuff, getting my fingerprints everywhere. Yeah, well. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Is, it, is there an echo in here? Am I gonna get jump scared? Oh, I can point the flashlight up too. Let's go downstairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. The heck? The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. I could do that, or I could go this way. The heck? A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Do it. Did I free it? Yes. A collection of rusty tools. These look like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in a damp, smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? It depressed so smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Uh-oh. So scared right now. What was that? An old dining table covered in dirt dishes for two people. In dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning in my stomach. 
The black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? No. I figured this was no help to me, so I left it behind. Or did I? Slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Exactly. You never know. Gotta come prepared. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Huh. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By its smell, I guess that led to the kitchen. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked to have unlocked the door. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Heaved the box forward and finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder yet? I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Dude, what made that door make that noise? Like someone was coming in. That's why I left. Footprints in the dirt looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of a town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. The guy upstairs must have done this, but what was his interest in the water tower? Some of the markings matched scribbles I saw on the bookshelf upstairs. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of info. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes. Tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? The desk looked old and was kicked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. H-E-A-I-V-E-A-H-E-L-R-A-P-H-O-R-O. -E -E None of it made any sense to me. Some kind of homemade rack, slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Rusted hooks, like the kind you find in a butcher, hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Cruelly made shelves, they looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. Well, there's another downstairs. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. That place was getting worse all the time. I knew I had to keep moving. What about the thing? Yeah, there's a door here. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. Faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt look familiar. They look like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Oh. Well, that's disturbing.
Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? If I was scared before, I was terrified now. Why were there photos of our house there? And these clothes, what? Was that why I was there? I checked my back pocket and realized my wallet was missing. Did I come to that house or did somebody bring me? just bats. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope wouldn't make that broken ladder easier to descend. What the hell was that? I had the rope now. There must have been a use for it around somewhere. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yeah, sure. Why not? I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. A bunch of old newspapers we'd pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave in. It's not gonna stop me. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It's probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Okay, there's a place I can crawl out. There was dirt on the ground, it looked wet and there was grass smeared within it. And a ladder. Could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Exit? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Uh, no. I still had the old handgun. I wasn't sure what a good knife would have been. There's also this. But what about the crawl space? Or this ladder? An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through here? From so high that must have been a sore landing. That's true. Where does this go? Back up to the place I was? Disgusting, it was a mess of filthy garbage bag. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yes. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Do I exit or do I go this way? Was that? I wasn't sure what those valves were. Did I turn it anyway? Yes. Turn them all. What's in here? What 
what that does. But I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from the inside. Do I just leave? Watch me get jumped. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled this last thing. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Ah, uh, well, damn it. I'm stuck. Oh, I have to go back. God dang it. I could turn this water about to shut off its water. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's three times. There you go. Is the other one still going? Yep. Now it should be good. All right, we can go there. The exit, right? There we go. Looks like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Okay. Hmm, there was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did it take it? Yes. Pocket of the small key, but it was so odd shaped, I had no idea what it might open. The safety poster had definitely been seen better days. How old was that facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light from within. This is getting weird. Door? Okay, let's go here first. There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VH tape I found could be useful. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. He was a mess, but he looked like he'd been stabbed. Oh, sh the knife. I could see a key ring that had fallen out of his pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I worked up the nerf to snatch the key ring away and put it in my own pocket. I wonder if that's something we can use. With the locked door. What about this way? Did I go here? There's a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit, but I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do, and what was on the videotape I found? Shit, I don't go back. Maybe that's the game's way of telling me to like, go back. I use the key ring to unlock the door. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looked like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered, what was on that VHS tape I found? Did I play the tape? Yes. They should remember. The video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Dang. Do I leave now? This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. 
Whoever used it could have gone past that flooded room with this. My sore leg and the extra weight of the gun made climbing the ladder agonizing. I wonder as I made my way up, would I need that weapon before the end? The thought of that video tip still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? And what was it in that locked room? I finally reached the top of the ladder and as I pushed on the latch above me, the scent of that sewer finally relented. Oh, I'm outside. The lid had fallen on the entrance there and was stuck shut. Oh, that's where I came from, okay. What are those two lights in the distance? That's scary. An old ladder leading up to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder yet? Up the latch and brought the ladder down. I'm so nervous right now. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. The wallet was missing its contents, including any cards or ID. It was warm but light. It made carrying the gun around seem more awkward. Where were my driver's license and credit card? From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewers. Had I come through here there before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Now what? I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit and I heaved open the rusty door. Shit. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffeting the decrepit structure. There's a door here. Two doors, okay. Left or right? The ticket booth was falling apart and covered in dust and grime. Stacks of paper lined the counter, faded remains of old schedules and reports. Among the papers were never newer looking sheets covered in scribbles and illegible notes. Come to think of it, the man in that house had kept similar scribbles hidden on his bookshelf and he had notes on the water tower outside too. I guess he could have been coming here, but why? What was he using this old station for? True. Mm. An old map encased in glass and hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked and the notes I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned water tower, and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? Now oh, we're back outside on the other side. What's that? The old train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal, as well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train shell, I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot there? The ground was well-worn, though. 
Couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I had found as I thought. What now? I was getting colder out there and I had to keep moving. I can't though. Where am I supposed to go? Was there a door here? No. I guess I gotta go back the way I came. There's nothing else here. There's a dead end. Could go back that way. Oh, I have to. Okay. They all sound the same, huh? This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled. Notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Huh? Traveled in the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back my credit card? Yes. Pocketed the credit card. Hopefully I could find my driver's license too. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Through the fence I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. Wonder if I could find my way around. Yeah, but how? Hmm. I don't know, like the rustling thing. There was a fire pit there. Still a bit warm and few embers still burned at the bottom. Someone here? Two folding camping chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There was a couple of cans of beer spilled on the ground. Someone's here. The cheap dome tent slept two people. Shone a flash on inside and could see some bedrolls. Two backpacks and a cooler. Bro, was someone here? Did I just miss him? No, 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 don't. How's the building? The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. A musty wooden plank propped up to the stall door. Didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Yes. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. You never know. Wait, was I here before? Oh yes, it was. So what was the other one? The sign was the same as the first one I'd seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. I finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Why? Seemed like fun. Finding that campsite had been strangely unsettling. I can't imagine why anyone would abandon their site in the middle of the night, especially in the, that dark forest. I was relieved at least to finally be out of there. Even now as I peered through the dense trees, I could see cracks of light and a bit of the land beyond. I must have been getting closer to town, but where exactly was I? I'm gonna get jumped, I feel it.
As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory, where I had worked as a machinist for all these, all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. No, you're being followed, dude. Open fire into the air. Oh, should we go to the hole here? I'm going to creep your building. What the heck was that? One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. The door was locked shut and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted to the front that said danger close for repairs. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, soaking off to a snack, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Okay. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. Okay. And we can't go there, so I guess up it is. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellowed clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. What does it say? Oh, okay, fine, whatever. Let's not read it. Our old break table, the layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Why? Power panel. It looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped on the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Hmm, power panel. It looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yeah. Hell yeah. It was shut tight. There was rusty looking card slot on the side. Darn. Well, still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Why aren't the lights back? The door had been hastily boarded up. Why? This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked there. Another panel that I hope could help me get the power back on there. Push the switch. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yeah. I took the hammer. I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. It's weird. The locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Yes. Set the key card into my pocket. Yes. Another panel that I hope could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yes. Well, that didn't work. Maybe this? Yes. Maybe now? Yes. Try it again. There we go. Oh, is the power back? Let's go. Struck with a hammer. The old wooden boards came apart easily. After I'd removed the planks, I left the hammer on the floor. No, take it with you. This was my locker. There were there in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It looked like it had been torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. The floor was littered with old liquor bottles. I wonder if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. This, this was just the power switches, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, there's just a table here. Door open now that the power is back on. Another smudge of dirt similar to the one I found in the sewers was on the floor. Didn't look like the footprints were mine, but they were probably too faint to tell. Much power of building materials and they were blocked away. What was that? A rusted old regular of some kind set dusty and used against the wall. Playing stones and burnt parts. Oh. What was the point of that? Yes, let's go through. Push the handle and step through the door. A rack of flashlights hanging on the wall. One of those was missing. Is that the one I'm using? My head pounded as I step back outside. Once I get enveloped in the scent of pine trees and muck. The path beyond was terribly dark and I was grateful that my flight was still working. I wonder, uh, was it taken from the plant? It sure seemed to, but how did I get a hold of it? I had little choice but to follow the path and hope that it got me back to town. I wondered, Norman had his store along a main road. Was he close? If he was, I could certainly use some help. A rusty old truck had greened off the road and into the guardrail. Its front was crushed and its windows had all smashed. Judging by the rust, it had been there a while. Okay. Oh yeah, I never went through that hole. Whatever. I didn't leave anywhere important. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of brown food and slick. Black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. I looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes. I cleaned the car off as best I could. Like pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card. And now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. I had entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from inside. It looked like I couldn't just pop it open. It needed a key. There was a bit of blood on the keyhole. Okay, that's weird. He's the killer. <laughs> oh, that's blood. so scared right now. What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on the rack? That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was it this doing here? Uh oh. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? No. Though it weighed on me, I had a hard time parting with the weapon just then. I wonder if I should have. I'm so confused what's going on. What was it? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the sill. I wonder where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yes. The chain is single tongue and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. The TV still flickered some ins indecipherable channel. Oh, okay. Oh no, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker, and one of the few friends I had in this town, lit dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. He looked like he'd been shot trying to get up. His eyes were wide with shock, though they were already drying. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserve better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Yes. I closed his eyelids down, shuddering as I did so. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand to think 
anymore about what was going on. I'm so scared right now. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it cleaning up, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. So he was having a drink with someone? The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash pocketed it. Good. You never be too safe. I say let's go to the attic. Please don't drop me. Am I going the right way or should I be going this way? No, that's the attic door. So I was going the right way. I'm gonna get jumped. Please don't get jumped. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Yes. I opened up the old cardboard box and wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photos, shoes, even that old radio I gave her. Why Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? I'm so confused. Maybe he's like a stalker. He's not really his wife. So what do I do now? I hope to help Rachel and then do that mess. I guess I just leave. I used the hairpin to pick the lock. Yo, the hairpin snapped in half. So I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things. Postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. The register was mostly empty and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. thought I was going to say fat stack of cash or something. Uh, the icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. Okay. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. That night continued to take horrible turn after horrible turn. It'd been, it'd been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, but to find him like that... As I thought of him still lying on the floor back there, the gun I carried seemed ever-present. Seeing that dusty box of those old clothes was a shock. How long had they been there? And what was Rachel doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers. But I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Yo! He's going back home. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why it's called home. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Uh, why is there so many little uh, gates here? It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. Well, you told me. I don't know. This one? I think it was locked. This was my house. Is it this one? Oh, crap. Is this your house, dude? A neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yes. The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did? Well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be. I knew it. She's just having an affair. Isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me? Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Is not going to have any reaction to that? Okay. The wrong gate. This one was locked. I 
had entered our backyard, the rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Wait, did I kill Norman? I held my breath as I approached my or our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Yeah, me too. Don't do it, let's just run. <laughs> the house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. Yo, who made the who made the sound design for this game? I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. I remember having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday or sometime before? The door to the basement was locked. Where had I put the damn key? And doesn't even have his own keys. There's a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out. Though I needed to see if Rachel was here. Yo, I'm scared. Take your gun out, dude. I had found the last missing piece from my wallet, the old photo of Rachel, and I started... The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly uncomfortable. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yes. I placed the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Yo, I got something. Stolen identity. Oh, I got a piece of my wallet back. Our television, I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. It was the end of that. What was that? Oh, that's the TV, right? What was that? The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. What does that mean? Old-fashioned keyhole. Looks like I need a hairpin. Hallway mirror had been smashed. Its pieces scattered around the floor. Bro, I don't know where to go. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey now, that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. My wife's Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had feeling what I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Yes. Rachel's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and train ticket. Is this what you were going to do with Norman? They were going to run away? No, but she said she was going to tell me. Or oh, maybe she already did and I didn't take it well. Which way do I go? I'm scared. My laptop had been left on and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. Okay, now we can go to that place. Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the taps was stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed death tubs. I don't know what he's talking about. No comment about the toilet? Alright. See how it is. Let's go back down and open that door. God, I hope I don't get shot. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned gear underneath the handle. What does that mean?
old fashioned keyhole. Is there something I missed? Maybe I can open the door. The front door was locked from inside. I can go out though. I need to see if Rachel was here. Oh, you did. There's no one here. I unlocked the basement door. Oh shit. No, let's not go. I forgot we had a basement. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? Yes. I took the small key and tried to remember what unlocked the door upstairs. Don't be silly. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. What is this? I put up this divider wall last summer so we could recreate a separate room in the basement. I didn't finish it yet so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. Well, let me guess. That heavy thing is in the other room upstairs. The grimy key I'd found in the basement and unlocked the door. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the do I did I need to take the crowbar? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar, I appreciated its weight. I told you we were gonna find something to break that divider with. You think she left there because she was scared? But scared of who? Norman? Or me? It's the basement, let's say. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. Is there no other place to go? With Eve, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed the hole large enough to step through. Bro, this is getting weird. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Can't. Don't look. Don't look? Yeah, there's blood. Don't look. Healthy looking pile of rags have been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the racks, did I finally find my Rachel? Say no. Her eyes were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime. But inside that tatted mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what was to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there. And I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs. The pain in my leg was just dull ache now and sat down in, her, in our, my bedroom. My mind was spinning and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. Why, why would you go to sleep? I like to remember things my own way. Maybe this wasn't what you thought at all. Where the heck am I? I guess these books were all actually mine then. It was my wallet with its contents in. Either I dropped the stuff, or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest, the water tower, was I at those places before? Maybe, yeah. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? It 
It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Are those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Yay, yes. Sick bastard must have. What else did that mean? There were some questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? It was the keycard I found at the bottom of that factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the plant. Still, it didn't quite add up. Was I the one who had been going back to the factory? No, somebody was using that locker room, but it definitely wasn't me. I had given up drinking, remember? The laptop finally ran out of power. Okay. bathroom. I look like nothing more than a faint shadow. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go because I have no clue. I held off a safe set on the floor. Use the digital passcode lock. Did I try to open it? Yes. Safe using eight digit code. What was that damn code again? I don't know. What if it's just one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that wasn't it. Damn it. I couldn't remember. Is there any clue or anything? This is the letter I'd taken from the post box. A gun bit went in the rain. But if, well, who wrote that letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? No. I couldn't have, I clearly wasn't seeing things directly, but no, I could never do something like that. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just see what happens. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I think it was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense some time after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night, had, this night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I had found in the old house was had killed his wife. I was sure of it, just as sure as you killed mine. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? And what had I been doing in Norman's place or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what had happened there? What did you think? Was I guilty or was I just mad? The forest especially was a difficult maze and I would rest easier if I never saw its like again. I know what you're thinking. That factory, that room with all the bottles and the old locker? You think it was me going back there, don't you? Well, even you admitted it wasn't, so how could that be? No, someone else must have been going there. But think, who else could have done it? I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on all this really started to change. Damn it, Norman. What were you doing with Rachel? I mean, what was going on? If all this was a lie, then what was really happening? Someone had killed Norman in the store, but it wasn't me. Who else would have wanted him dead? But as painful as all of that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home to supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. The silence in the house when I had first stepped through the kitchen door. That should have been my first clue. To think that 
I went through all of that completely unaware of what I would discover. Did you know before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on knowing what I do? Without Rachel, even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth, I'll give you that, but now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that kept me going. I was sure where it would get out, and soon enough the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Whoa, slipping away. End your story by leaving. Oh, well, there's like multiple endings. I like that. I like that sound. Very, like, uh, kind of like an investigation. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it off here. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Try, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out Home yourself. You know, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. As always, I shall catch you in the next episode of Let's Try. Take care of now. See you.